What's going on? It's Noah here from Northern Scavenger. It is early May and we are up at the Tim River in Algonquin Park for a leisurely paddle this weekend. Some key notes from the trip is that it's going to be raining 50 millimeters. It's going to be a high of 6 degrees and it might snow on Sunday. But we're still out here. We're going to have fun. We got the fellows with us, Bernie and Tosser. Should be a good time. Hey, what's going on? Oh. How was your sleep last night? It was great. A little rough? No, what do you mean? I was comfy. Except you let all the warm air out. <laughs> <laughs> was it cold? I wasn't cold. No, I, was a little, cold? I was a little cold. No. No. We have our negative 32 sleeping bags. Oh, negative no. 32. Yeah, I don't have that. All right, it's not raining right now. I know, that's why we're trying to get everything ready. I'm gonna get all my rain gear on. I got all this North Face gear on. So you missed the shoes, bro. <laughs> Our plan for this early season fishing trip was to launch at the Tim River access point, paddle through Tim Lake and over to Roseberry Lake, north towards the Nipissing River, and back west towards Big Bob Lake, where we would head south back towards the access point. With a bunch of rain and some snow in the forecast, this was gonna be a difficult feat for the three days we had allotted for this trip. We're at the launch, it's pretty rainy out. Probably about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's supposed to be raining all day. Uh, today the objective is to get to Roseberry Lake. As you know, it's Tim River meanders a lot. And it's probably about 4 degrees out. So we'll have to stay warm somehow. I think gloves are going to be a big thing today and tomorrow. about a kilometer away from Roseberry Lake. That's probably where we're gonna set camp tonight. It is pretty cold and rainy still. The water, the rain just picked up. The water levels have been a lot higher. We should be able to skip a lot of deeper dams and flow downs. So I guess that's the only pro from this bad weather is the uh, water levels. Rain didn't let up for most of the day. We tried to keep our clothes dry, but with that amount of rain during the day, it was impossible. Once we got to camp, we tried drying our clothes over the fire, but still had no luck. We were also struggling to find firewood, which made it really difficult for us to have a good fire to stay warm. We made some dinner, and then went to bed hoping for a better day tomorrow. Overnight we got a dusting of snow, and knowing that there was more rain in the forecast, we had already gone through most of our dry clothes, 
and we had still the most ambitious distance left on this trip. We opted to call the trip short. This was one of the more difficult decisions that we've had to make on a trip, but we knew it was the right one. While we were disappointed about ending the trip early, we ended up getting a really nice surprise on the way out. Our paddle back up the Tim River hosted some of the nicest paddling that any of us had ever experienced. The light dusting of snow on the trees and the calm river made it all worth it. Even though we had to call this trip short and we didn't end up getting any fish which was our hope in the first place, it ended up being one of our favorite trips to date and is still a trip that we talk about to this day about the time that we had to leave early because we were soaked and cold.